Hey everybody, my name is Tammy Lewis. For those of you who don't know me, I am a speaker and entrepreneur and I am the mom of four teenage boys, one of whom literally just came into me and going, stop the video, like I fell. He just crashed on his bike. He's okay, but that's how life happens, right? <laughs> So, um, yeah, he's all right. He just went off a jump and fell and scraped his knee. And he's like, I'm just not good at this. He's, he's one of my clumsy, well, one of mine, he's my clumsy one and I love him. But, um, if somebody's going to fall, it's going to be him. Total tangent. That isn't what we're talking about today. What are we talking about today? We're talking about sunburns today. Um, it is summer we're at the filming of this video right now. It is summer and summer gets hot and skin gets burnt. Okay, first things first, always definitely use Young Living Sunblock. It's fabulous, it's SPS 50. I am at the end of this going to give you a hack for that so that it rubs on really nice and smooth because sometimes people have a hard time with um, the thicker sunblocks that work really well. Sometimes they don't go on as smoothly and so, or as cover as much as easily. And so I have a hack for you at the end. So first things first, always please protect yourself, right? That's the first line of defense is to protect yourself from getting a sunburn. However, I have four teenage boys and a husband. And sometimes they don't cover themselves like they should. So let me tell you a story. Just three weeks ago, we were out on the river. Um, we got kayaks and we were, um, we got three kayaks, two person kayaks and we were paddling down the river for five and a half hours. It was super fun, but lots of water was being splashed, tons of direct sunlight. We sunblocked before we went, right? But I let my kids sunblock themselves because they're teenagers. I'm not about to start sunblocking them. However, <laughs> my sweet boy put sunblock on but missed the top of his legs. Just missed it. He's got, you've got like fingerprints around his leg and like this basic part that was not blocked, was not um, sunscreened at all. So five and a half hours later, we get off the river and he's not burnt except on his legs. <laughs> like literally the sunblock lasted the entire time. We only put it on once. Um, but he's not burnt except for his legs. His legs were fried, just fried. What do we do? Well, you know, we're a natural family, right? And so here's what we did. And this is what I'm here to show you is how to deal, how we deal with a sun, sunburn and how you can too. Now I'll tell you, this is what we did. And I'll tell you another story. Same thing. Okay. Lavender. If you didn't know, lavender is fabulous for the skin. So what I do is I take coconut oil. Yes, this is a Savvy Minerals. Um, uh, powder that I repurposed and I put my coconut oil in. I just get my coconut oil from my local grocery store. Or you can use Young Living's V6 oil, which is really good too. I really like the coconut oil. I just like the healing properties of coconut oil. Plus you mix it with lavender. So all you do is take, I just closed it. You take a heap, right, of that. You put it on I'm not going to put it right now because I'm not going to apply this in front of you right now, but you put it on your hand and then you take a few drops of lavender. I was covering quite a large surface area. And so we did three or four drops on a large chunk of coconut oil, rub it together. And then I had him rub it all over his legs. Now, of course, again, teenagers, they did it themselves, but I made sure that they did it probably three times a day for about three days. Why? Because the skin really needed some support and we didn't want it to peel. Did it peel? It did a little bit, but nothing like it would have had we not have treated it. The lavender really healed the skin very, very nicely. Uh, it was fabulous, and it didn't go into that itchy, itchy stage, you know, when you get a sunburn and then you've got little flakes all over. It did not go into that stage at all. It very much healed, and we had some skin peel off, but for the most part, it was, um, cleaned up and clear. So that worked really, really well. Second time our family got a sunburn. Yes. Again, we were out in the sun for maybe 30 minutes and my husband didn't put anything on his back and he burnt like crazy. He comes up to me the next day and just says, "Hun, my, my back is itching like mad. And he's, you know, doing the back rub against the, the door frame. <laughs> 
And so I'm like, okay, because would you please oil me up? And again, what did we pull out? We pulled this stuff out. Same thing. I oiled and oiled and oiled him for three or four days. His back never did peel. So coconut and lavender, fabulous for a sunburn. Again, we want to prevent things. The other thing you can use is this one. This is Lavaderm. Lavaderm is specifically designed for healing the skin. It's very good um, ointment or um, spray for, for skincare. How do I use this? I actually keep this in my kitchen because I know that burns happen most in the kitchen, right? Other than a sunburn, a lot of people do get burnt in the kitchen. So I keep this in my spice rack like literally right in my spice cabinet. I have lavaderm there. So my kids went for both. They really liked the lavaderm and they liked the lavender, both of them. I don't know if you know the story, but that was discovered that lavender was good for a burn by a scientist um, who, I don't know, I don't know the whole story. I, this just popped in my head, but the basics of it, ooh, I shook the table. The basics of it is that he was doing something in a science lab. He had an entire vat of lavender. He burned himself and the only thing close was the lavender. He stuck his whole hand into the lavender and um, it, was, it was perfectly fine. And it would have been a very, very severe burn. So lavender, remember I told you that, um, the sunblock. The sunblock, you can do this hack. Ready? So we prevent this from happening. Put a tube of sunblock and half a bottle of lavaderm into a spray bottle. Mix that baby up and then you can spray on the sunblock and it goes much nicer. It's a much smoother um, application, especially for kids and dads who don't like sunblock that's thick. So that's a, that's just one of my hacks. Put half a bottle of Lavaderm, full bottle of the sunblock, and mix it into a spritzer bottle. Yep. Isn't that great? All right. It's those little things, right? Um, guys, I do hope you have a good summer. I hope that it's going well. Please do protect yourselves because your skin is your largest organ on your body, and that's a really important thing to protect ourselves, right? As we age, we still want to look be beautiful and young, and sunburns just don't do well for us. So keep your skin clean. If this was helpful for you, I hope it was. If you need more, oh, if it was, um, <laughs> please like the channel, uh, subscribe to the channel, like the, the what's this called, the video, <laughs> and um, share it with a friend because all of us oilers need to stick together and help each other out and really educate and teach one another. So share it with people. Subscribe to my channel, I would appreciate it. If you are not an oiler and you don't know much about it, I do have an email sequence and I would love for you to subscribe to it. In the description above the channel is the link to um, register for the email sequence. It will get emailed to you. It's four videos and they just about 20 minutes each, I think. And I teach you exactly how essential oils work, what they are, um, how you can get them, all the basics. All right. God bless. I hope you're doing well. I hope you're having a fabulous summer. And if you're watching this in the middle of the winter, because this video is just on YouTube, um, you still need to protect yourself in the mountains. Remember, the sun is super duper bright up there and you can get burnt. Now you probably won't get burnt all over just on your face, but still uh, use the sunblock. Okay. God bless guys. Have a fabulous afternoon.